This podcast is brought to you by BMW Group Canada. Hello, and welcome to Collision Repair Magazine's Industry Insider Podcast. I'm Sam Haupt, your host for this week. While labor shortages remain a frustrating issue in our industry, banners and businesses alike are doing their best to rein in fresh talent. Even OEMs are doing their part to facilitate more workers, as we hear from this week's guest, Michelle Matt of BMW Group Canada. So, Michelle, can you give me a brief introduction about uh, yourself and what you do? Sure, Sam. My name is uh, Michelle Matt. I'm the uh, National Manager of After Sales Business Development and Marketing. Very long title, I know, uh, but basically uh, I have a team uh, that extends to about 20 people. And uh, directly or indirectly, we're responsible for after-sales marketing, uh, parts pricing, accessory and lifestyle uh, business development, uh, the wholesale business, and that includes our certified collision program. Um, And I think those are the main sort of pillars of of, uh, what I oversee here at BMW Group Canada. All right, excellent. And can you briefly describe to me BMW Group Canada's scholarship program plan over the next three years? First of all, I want to give uh, credit to Gary Lynn, who is our uh, Certified Collision Program Specialist here at BMW Group Canada, for coming up with the idea of, of developing the program. Uh, he had come out, uh, you know, part of his experience is having been uh, a teacher at the college level, so it was a natural fit. Um, you know, for us, uh, this is a program that's kind of already been running now for just over a year. Um, in Ontario and in uh, British Columbia, specifically in Toronto and in Vancouver. Uh, We're just about to try to get something going in the Montreal area, uh, probably by the end of this year. Um, And for us, uh, the future of the program really relies on uh, the demand for it uh, and the engagement of our certified collision repair centers. Uh, because they jointly support the program both financially uh, and in terms of the spaces they give to the apprentices. Uh, it is not a program that would be sustainable uh, if the engagement from them uh, and the demand uh, didn't continue. So that's kind of the way we see it going uh, for the foreseeable future. In a statement uh, that BMW Group Canada released that we actually recently ran in our uh, issue 18.5 of Collision Repair magazine, uh, it mentioned, it it described the the scholarship program as innovative. And I just wanted to ask you, in your own words, what is innovative in BMW's approach to collision repair scholarship programming? Well, I think the first element of that, uh, we believe, is that as far as we know, and certainly in Canada, there's nothing like it. in the market, so none of the other Canadian OEs are engaged at this level in trying to uh, elevate the trade in this direct way. Um, and uh, based on our contacts with uh, BMW in Munich, uh, they are not aware of any other programs going on globally. So I think that's you know if we're not the first, uh, we're among the first to really go into this uh, maybe unusual direction. Um, I think the second part uh, is. The second part of this that makes it innovative is that we're really trying to uh, attract the best uh, possible students um, and trying to give them an exposure to 21st century uh, repair techniques and and collision centers. Um, You know, this is not a program that's geared towards uh, someone who is uh, trying to uh, get into the trade as, as people perceive it to be, but rather to get into the trade uh, in the way that we see it going for the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the last thing uh, here is that, um, you know, I don't know how innovative it is, but we, we tie the program into our own brand training as well. So we have a program called BMW Group Brand Academy uh, that all, uh, all employees and all retailer uh, employees must participate in, uh, and we extended that to this scholarship program. So, in addition to them attending their courses um, at Centennial or BCC, um, they also uh, would partake in that brand training um, by one of our BMW branch ambassador trainers here, and they also get some interesting, um, you know, branded gear that sets them apart from the other students uh, with the BMW and the Mini logo and and the Certified Collision Program uh, on it. So um, I think those are some of the things that I think set the program apart and, and perhaps make it innovative.
Michelle, what effect do you feel these scholarships will have on the labor shortages that we are seeing currently in the industry? Well, I think we have to be realistic about it. Um, you know, our, our capacity right now for students across the country is a total of 10. So five in Vancouver, five in Toronto, uh, and, and hopefully another five or so in, in Quebec. And I think, you know, that's, that's a small dent uh, in the overall industry. Uh, and, and most of those people um, will be, uh, most of those apprentices will be funneled into a BMW Group Certified Collision Repair Center. So I, I think it certainly helps our collision centers, and certainly a lot of those collision centers are not uh, exclusive to BMW and Mini. They do other work as well, so I think there's an indirect benefit to some of the other manufacturers that are out there uh, as well. And uh, for us, I, I really, we hope that the word of mouth around the program within that student community and within the college community and the trade community will, will generate uh, some renewed excitement about the trade in general. Now, while that small amount of actual applicants may be just a drop in the bucket, do you feel as though these types of scholarship programs could set maybe a precedent? I do. I mean, uh, look, right now I think the, the automotive industry is, is feeling a bit of a pinch. Uh, so, you know, the amount of financial resources that an OE might want to put towards something like this when you can't necessarily uh, say that it's revenue generating, that might be a challenge for some OEs. Um, this is a program that uh, I think you need to have a certain amount of vision to embark in and have a little bit of faith. And, um, you know, if, we, if we're really going to, as an industry, uh, be committed to um, uh, repairing vehicles the way that, that they were specified to be repaired by the original manufacturers, I think we have to do more than sit on the sidelines uh, and, you know, hope that things are going to uh, to work out when it comes to the trade and, and resources within that trade. And everybody's heard that expression, you know, hope isn't a plan. Uh, and so we, we think that uh, other OEs in Canada, uh, maybe within our global automakers of Canada community, uh, will we'll see our example and maybe see the merits of it and uh, maybe work towards something similar. Well put. All right. Michelle, thank you so much for talking to me today. My pleasure, Sam. Have a good one. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. That's all we have for you this week. Industry Insider was created by Elizabeth Sargent, Ellen Smith, and Gideon Scanlon. It is written by Allison Rogers, Sam Haupt, and Gideon Scanlon, and is produced by Sam Haupt.